Hi guys, a lot of you ask me what kind of medium I use for my Hoyas and we are not talking about propagation medium, we are talking about medium that I use to grow my Hoyas, something that baby Hoyas graduate to later on when they are ready for a larger pot. And since I'm upgrading a lot of Hoyas right now to larger pots and I ran out of Hoya mix, so I have decided to make a video for you guys so you guys know exactly what I use and why. Since my life is pretty busy and I don't really have time to do things multiple times, I prefer to use a pretty large plastic container for my soil. I make a huge box and then I have it for quite some time so anytime I do need to repot my plants. I can just go and do it and I don't have to mix anything prior. That is very convenient. The mix that I'm gonna show you guys today, it works for a lot of plants. That's why I like it. So I don't have to have a bunch of boxes for a bunch of different plants. And I like to keep my life as simple as possible. This soil mix that I make is very budget friendly since we all know plant hobby is quite expensive to begin with. So I try to keep it as budget friendly as possible. Ingredient number one that I use for it is black gold all-purpose potting soil. It's an eight quart bag so it's a pretty good amount of soil for my indoor plants and it is pretty budget friendly. I want to say this bag probably around five or six dollars that I buy at my local nursery but they also have this on Amazon if your nursery does not sell this kind of soil. I really like this soil. I find it, it's a high quality. It's a pretty good soil. With that said, it doesn't have to be, you guys. Any all-purpose potting soil would work for your plants, so it does not have to be this kind of soil at all. This is just my preference. And the second ingredient I like to mix in my soil actually includes a lot of ingredients in there and it's all in one bag and I absolutely love it for that matter. And this is Better Grow Special Orchid Mix. I really like this stuff. You can purchase this at Lowe's. And the reason why I like this stuff because it already contains charcoal and perlite and very, very chunky perlite, which I like. And obviously it has an orchid bark in there. So basically you get three ingredients in one bag. I always find this at Lowe's and it's also very inexpensive. So by getting just one bag of the special orchid mix, Basically, I'm covering three ingredients that I don't have to go get it separately. I don't have to have extra bags of different things in my home. It's all right here in one bag. Another ingredient I use occasionally, a lot of times it's mainly because I'm low on this stuff and I don't really have much. In that case, I do use cocoa chunks but I don't think I'm gonna need to use them today since I seem to have enough of all of the ingredients that we need today and it's absolutely unnecessary. It's your choice. If you guys wanna add some cocoa chunks in there, absolutely go for it. It's just gonna make your soil even more draining and lightweight. So basically all those ingredients will make your soil very nice, light, airy and very fast draining which is absolutely ideal for Hoyas. So let me change the frame and I will show you how I mix everything and what consistency I prefer my soil to be. All right you guys I hope you can see everything pretty well. So here's my box. I did not clean it because it's absolutely unnecessary. There's a spider in there. Another thing I suggest you guys to wear a mask because it will get very very dusty and you guys don't want to breathe any dust from soil or especially perlite. It's very unhealthy for our lungs. I guess let's get going. I have an open bag of the same soil and I would like to use this up first. So basically I'm just gonna dump all of it in there. And I do like to use my ice scoops 
which I purchased them on Amazon. They work so well for handling soil. And I did put them in my Amazon storefront. If you guys are looking for something like this, it's there. And I wanna show you black gold soil right here. As you could tell, it already has perlite. It's already pretty airy soil, to be honest with you. And that's probably why I like it. And now we're gonna add my orchid bark. I have another open bag right here. It's about halfway full. Just basically gonna dump it in there. Orchid bark is pretty chunky in here. There is charcoal right here, which is also pretty chunky, which is really nice. That's what you want for your soil. And the perlite. Perlite is definitely much larger. There is some really big chunks in there, actually. I showed you up close. That's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna mix it up. And that's when you really want to wear any kind of face covering. I don't know about you guys, but I get very, very sensitive. Like I would cough after this and it's very unpleasant feeling. You can definitely tell that those particles get in my lungs. Just mix everything up pretty well. So here's what it looks like. So as you could tell, my box is not even halfway full and I like to mix a lot of this stuff so I don't have to worry about it for a while. I'm gonna open my other bag. And I think I'm just gonna dump all of it in guys. There you go. And I'm gonna use another full bag of orchid bark. Look at how chunky this orchid bark is. And that's why I like it. And basically I'm just gonna mix it up. And that's why I like to have two scoops. They are different sizes for smaller pots, obviously, and for very large pots. And you just mix everything up. So that's it you guys, my mix is done. As you could tell, it's pretty chunky and you could tell how airy the soil is. You can see a lot of orchid bark in there and perlite and charcoal is actually harder to see, but it's there. To fill up this size of the box, I've used bag and a half of all-purpose black gold soil and a bag and a half of this special orchid potting mix by Better Grow. And this box should last me for quite some time since Hoyas don't really use large pots. And now that I have soil, I can finally continue repotting my Hoyas. And of course, I will update you guys on what other Hoyas I repotted into larger pots very, very soon. I hope you guys found this video very helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a like, share with your plant friends, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.